Hey everybody, and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at the Flegel Autoload Timber Runner. But before that, this video is brought to you by Quentin Williams. Thank you for being a farm baron. The Flegel Autoload Timber Runner trailer can be found on the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game mod hub. And as of the 1.0 release, it is available for PC only. Now, I don't see too much hope in this particular mod going to the console platform because it does make use of an initial script to do the log autoloading. We all know that Sony and Microsoft have issues with external scripts and mods. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at where we're going to be finding this in the shop. We're going to go to Tools and then Forestry Equipment. We're going to scroll over. We have the non-autoload Timber Runner trailer for $39,000. Or we can go on over and find the three autoloading trailers that are a part of this mod. Or more simply, we can come down here to Mods and DLCs and then find the Legal Timber Runner autoload wood trailers located right here. Now we have the 12 meter, 15 meter, and 20 meter variants of this trailer. They all have the same configuration options. Ultimately, the trailer that you choose is going to depend on the size of logs that you like to cut and the number of logs ultimately that you want to transport in one load. So we're going to take a look at the 12 meter variant as far as configuration options go. We have a choice of standard or we can add a rear hitch to the trailer and now this is just a standard trailer rear, rear hitch it's not going to let you chain a bunch of semi auto loading trailers together and we have the choice of continental tires or trellerberg tires and then we also have the choice of changing our rim color all other configuration options as i said are the same on all three trailers so we're not going to run through all three of those but what i do want to run through on each trailer is the various auto load options so let's go ahead and pull up the f1 menu and you're going to see that there are a whole heap load of new keyboard commands and if you do not have a number pad you're probably going to need to go in and change the key bindings on these because the keyboard equivalent of these keys will not work to control the timber runner first thing i want to point out is the numpad slash or divide key is going to show the unload position. Now for this particular trailer, you can see that we are currently unloading to the left and the logs are basically pointed away from the trailer. We can rotate our unload position by using the zero key on the keypad. And now you can see that the unload position is still to the left, but the arrows are now facing the rear of the trailer. We can change the auto load side with the letter O on the keyboard. And now that we are pitching the logs over to the right, and then we can also hit the number O or the letter, yeah, the number O on the keypad to then rotate that once again so the arrows are facing away from the trailer. The other option we have is the number pad star or multiply and that is going to show or hide the loading position on the trailer. So right now we have set this trailer to have two loading positions and each position can have logs up to six meters in length. And if we hit the dot on the number pad, you can see we can cycle back to the rear position. So we're now showing pile two, and we're showing pile one. Now if we hit enter, on the keypad we can change the number of piles at first when i saw this i thought it was backspace but no it is enter that we need to hit so we can change it to three piles with a max log length of four meters each and then again the period we can cycle between which pile we are loading on we hit enter again and we can go back to a single pile so we could auto load up to a 12 meter long log in this orientation we could also auto load eight meter long logs nine meter ten meter whatever any length of log greater than six with the 12 meter trailer we're going to have to use a single unloading pile i'm going to cycle back to 
two piles and let's turn that off we're going to hit q to disconnect and i want to then move to the 15 meter trailer and we're going to see that our length per pile is going to be increased a little bit now we have the ability to have a single 15 meter long pile we can have two piles that have up to seven and a half meter long logs like that or we could go to three piles at five meters each just like that or four piles of three and a, up to three and a half meter long logs just like that we also have on the 15 and 20 meter log links or log trailers the ability to hit x to unfold the log forks and now we have more log forks to support our logs and that's going to be critical when we have these shorter log lengths now let's go ahead and take a look at the 20 meter long trailer and this is kind of the stretched limo of timber runner log trailers that's for sure and x again and unfold the sides star on the keyboard or multiply just to show the loading position and we can now do three piles up to six and a half meters long we can do four piles up to five meters long we can do one pile up to 20 meters long and two piles up to 10 meters in length so down here I have a 12 meter long timber runner trailer and I've got six meter long logs here and I wanted to demonstrate loading and unloading of these logs first up I'm going to show with the the divide or the slash is what is going to bring up the loading or unloading side zero is what's going to rotate it and O is going to change the position okay so now we are loading from the left. We're going to hit B. And then we're going to hit B to stop loading. Because I kind of want the logs to set a little bit. If we're going to move the trailer, you want to make sure you turn off auto loading. So we're good with that. I'm going to hit period to move back or the dot on the keypad to move back to the rear loading position we're going to hit B then we're going to auto load more logs always remember hit B to turn off auto load if you're going to move the log trailer because if you are moving the log trailer while it is auto loading the logs are going to load in an uneven fashion just like that one I thought I had turned auto load off but I had not so it's loaded kind of in an uneven fashion and L to strap down the auto load trailer just like that and then if we wish to unload the log trailer but we're just going to hit Z and Z is going to unload it remember we have our arrows pointing away from the trailer See how the logs are going to lay down in that orientation. I'm going to move forward and then I'm going to hit Z again to unload now with the other orientation. See how it has rotated the logs 90 degrees as opposed to the direction of the trailer. And hit the letter O to then flip sides if we wish, and we can then unload the other side of the trailer. So guys, that is kind of the, the nitty gritty of the Flegel auto load trailer. It's a whole lot of buttons. It's a whole lot of commands for sure. We also have the ability to shift the unloading position and resize the unloading position with control numpad minus. We can move it a little further away from the trailer and control numpad plus. 
have unload up to 10 meters and we can have it up to eight meters away from the trailer. So let me know guys, what do you think of the Flegel auto load timber trailer? As I said, I know it is a whole lot of keystrokes. I think what it does is it requires a fair bit of practice and use, and then you'll have the basics down pretty like you split. Key is B is going to be to auto load, Z is going to be to unload, and enter on the number pad is going to be to switch sides or switch loading positions you should say and O is going to allow you to shift sides and until next time happy farming